lecture is inspired vision. When our vision is emotionalized, vision is inspired. It creates a vibrational field and attacks circumstances that are conducive to the realization of that vision. And it is supported by action. It manifests in matter, the reality. Because energy and matter are interchangeable. Mental energy at highest velocity in imagination and visualization creates the magnetic field and by support of action it materializes. Hence, emotionally, mentally, we should energize our visual energize our visions, visualize with what we earnestly desire to manifest. This is truth, law of nature, it has been proved. We are aware that worry attracts worry. Misfortunes do not come alone. Birds of the same feather flock together and like attracts likes. It's a common saying that like attracts like. Because a magnetic force is generated by the thought power. The manifestation of vision in matter needs action, physical action. Visualization is a mental action. It has to be supported by physical action. Power of thought. If the visual, if we visualize merely and do not take action, the energized vibrational field in the cosmic space will become so powerful that it will find another human being to incarnate it in matter by action. So the visualizer himself should take care to engage in simultaneous action. Visualization and action should go together. Visualization should be done in detail. For instance, the person wants to be a good effective speaker. He should say to the chair, visualize this is standing and is speaking to a gathering, vast gathering, and his, his speeches are being cheered, cheered up, and is speaking with confidence. So this visualization will reinforce confidence, and when in actual practice, when he appears before the audience, he'll feel self-confident. So if the, visualized, if the visualizer does not take any action, the energized vibrational field will become so powerful in the cosmic space that we'll have to find another human being to manifest that visualized reality, the visualized truth, the visualized idea. So the another human being who comes in contact with the vibrational field will act on it and incorporate it, incarnate that idea in the matter by action. This explains the importance, value and power of thought. Future casts a shadow. Success momentum caused by thought power, visualized as present reality. So in visualization, we should visualize as the present reality, not the future reality. It will happen in future, this idea should not go. It is happening in future, we should visualize. Visualized as present reality in mind and matter. Supposing we want to build an educational institution, we should visualize the entire infrastructure, the roads, the buildings, the garden, the professors, the students, all in detail, as if it exists in the mind scan, and then simultaneously we should start acting, taking actual measures to bring it to ground reality, to acquire land, to ask the architect to design the building. Such a step should be taken simultaneously. 
So not as a future reality, when we visualize, should be realized, it should visualize as a present reality existing in mind scan. And then action should begin simultaneously. Visualization technique. Researcher, geneticists may consider their existence and its powers from three distinct approaches. Mind as the supreme reality. To them, love of knowledge is philosophy. Soul, the micro consciousness as core reality. And the third one, macro consciousness itself expressed as micro consciousness for manifestation. In three ways, people think. Some people think if mind is the supreme power of reality, some people think soul is the micro of the reality, and others think micro consciousness is the ultimate reality, and we are the micro consciousness. So, macro consciousness is omnipresent, all powerful, and present everywhere. Omnipotent is all powerful, omniscient, all knowledge, all knower. The mind and all its aspects and facets are the faculties of consciousness. Mind in all its aspects and facets are the faculties of consciousness, the infinite power, eternity. Some people say mind is the thought flow, but mind ultimately is the power, the faculty of consciousness. Thought flow, when it is observed, is a thought flow. It is a mere observation of thought flow. The mind is a energy, life energy, the faculty of consciousness. In visualization, the consciousness is active, mind being is faculty. In visualization, the mind is active because of the faculty of consciousness. That means you have invoked eternity, consciousness. Macro consciousness, micro consciousness being the same. Whatever we do in the conscious faculty of consciousness, it will have to be, it will get this power from its source, the consciousness. That means we have touched, invoked the eternity and infinity by our earnest desire and our emotionalized vision. We have touched eternity and infinity. The all power, you have awakened it. Consciousness is awakened. Your visualized results or in the process of manifestation, then all your visualized results will come into the process of manifestation, in coronation, into material reality, into the matter. It is up to us how much we can behold them. It is much, it is for us to start taking action and to materialize them, greatness. When the thoughts are great, positive, greatness will manifest. In the external circumstances, great thoughts produce great results. In the external circumstances also. So positive thoughts and thoughts of greatness are necessary to achieve greater results. Actions taken should be simultaneous actions. Microconsciousness. Whatever we understand by the principle or phenomena of life, this is very important. Whatever we understand by the principle or phenomena of life, the intelligent knowledge energy, the power pervading in and through our mind body and beyond transcendentally is microconsciousness. The principle of life in us is the microconsciousness briefly. Macro consciousness is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent reality. And therefore, in the sports, supposing a person wants to excel, he should visualize in detail that he is playing. He is throwing the ball. The ball is reaching the goal. And the technique should be correct. And then, when he goes to the field, he should practice. In, in bring it to an actual practice. So in public speaking, you should visualize that he is presenting his arguments with confidence before an audience. Then audience, audience is cheering up. And then when he actually goes for speaking, he will get the same response. So in research, 
he should visualize that he is a topmost researcher. He is getting new new ideas and his problem is being solved and that he is writing the thesis and thesis uh, should be visualized mentally. And then he should in, continue to engage in actual research work and writing. So in studies, in singing, in poetry or fiction writing, in every field of life, it is the visualization that is the most important. Visualized reality we must see. We must feel for that it, sentimentally, emotionally. We must energize our visualization to get positive results.